Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and today we're going to go on a range test. I have lithium batteries on this African Model C3. I have a bicycle tracking app for cyclists that want to track their rides, but I'm on a scooter. It's going to work the same way. So I've got my phone mounted here. I've got a camera showing the odometer here and the mileage to see how far we're going. And basically, we're going to see how far this scooter can go with the upgraded lithium batteries that we offer at mobilitydirect.com exclusively as an upgrade option for your AFA scooter model C or S model, both the three and the four wheel. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be a long ride. These scooters are, get about 25 to 30 miles with the standard batteries and with lithium batteries, we've seen that on some travel size scooters, it doubles the range. So I'm probably gonna be out for a while. I've got a big thing of water, I've got my hat, I've got an energy drink. I'm probably gonna have to stop halfway through and start this over tomorrow, but we won't charge the batteries during that break. And we're gonna keep everything recorded with multiple cameras just to be as transparent as possible. And the goal is to show you that with lithium batteries, you get a heck of a lot more life out of your batteries not just with how long they last on a single ride, but the amount of charge cycles is also much better. So it's totally worth the upgrade. And most mobility scooter manufacturers are moving away from sealed lead acid batteries to lithium. It's just a matter of time. With that being said, let's get started. So I'm gonna show you here my app when I get out the door. tight fit so you can see here I got my app I'm gonna hit start and it's gonna start tracking our time and our distance let's get started see ya much later see you on the other <laughs> side see ya much later see you on the other side All right, bud. Thanks, man. I'll see you in a while. All right, so I've got my timer on and I'm just going to do a little run around the entire plaza because I want to see how far we can go just in the plaza. So it looks like going around this plaza, we get about 0.35 of a mile. It's pretty good. But I'm not going to keep doing the same old path. It's boring. Let's go to different places and, I mean, we might as well just go down to the beach. We're in Bonita Springs, which is uh, home to some of the most beautiful beaches in South Florida. So I figure, let's take advantage of the opportunity that we have here. We're testing out some batteries and, uh, you know, let's go to the beach. goer here. Hello. Good morning. All right. So again, what we're doing here is a range test. To see just how far we can go. That is the point of this video. We've got 
about 0.6 miles. Now we're expected to do about 25 to 28 miles, but with the lithium batteries, I think we all know that's gonna change greatly. All right, now let's see, I've got some off-roading to do here. not ideal less than ideal let me straighten out here Well, we had to get around a very steep incline because of some uh, yard personnel doing their yard work. That's okay. We're coming up to the first mile. We've uh, done our first mile. We're at 1.1 miles. So we're at almost uh, 1.3 miles now. Just checking in, letting everybody know how it's going. wondering what that was had a little piece of duct tape stuck to my tire I guess I ran over it so as you can see we are on our 12 and a half minute we're going 1.3 miles at an average speed of about 9.2 miles per hour according to this app the app is pretty cool I gotta say I like it so let's just keep on moseying along see if we uh, can get this battery to drain before the end of time. Now, one thing that we're probably gonna experience is that our camera batteries are gonna die. We have a GoPro, we actually have two of them, and we have three batteries. Batteries are actually being charged by the scooter. So technically, this test is really kind of being done so not in the favor of the range test because we're also charging our camera batteries with the USB charging port. All right, so now we're on Bonita Beach Road and we're gonna keep going for probably about four miles until we hit the beach. Then, we're gonna be able to just cruise up and down Bonita Beach uh, and hopefully drain these batteries while at the same time getting a nice breath of fresh air. The ocean air is really good for you. And hopefully I'll get to show you some of the uh, soft white sand beach out here in um, Bonita Beach that we're so uh, fortunate to have right in our backyard.
kind of some bumps here. These little water gutters really uh, do a number on you when you're going over them. So it's best to slow down a little bit. All right, 2.08 miles. And we've got a lot of time to kill, so I'm just gonna go around this parking lot to just drain the battery a little bit extra before we get to the beach. So here we are, 2.13 miles. Now what I'm gonna do here, just for a moment, is I'm gonna check out the temperature of a couple of key components. Number one, I wanna check the motor. So right now, the motor is at 90, or I'm sorry, about 98 degrees Fahrenheit there. And if we move over about 110 there in the middle, and about 97 over there. So about 110 in the middle, about 97 on the sides. Now the controller is about 82. Look at everything. This is a laser gun that tells you the temperature. So it's about 82 there on the controller. Now the batteries usually don't get hot, but it's 90 degrees on the batteries. All right, so that's just a little data sample here we like using data and we wanted to show users and the manufacturer that with the lithium batteries it's not stressing out the motor or the controller the temperature should be fine so we're going to benchmark that and compare it to the temperatures that we take after going a few miles on the standard batteries too just to prove the point that lithium batteries are safe to use for this mobility scooter there was a little bit of doubt in the beginning with the manufacturing company and the warranty but we're working through that for you so that you can get the best technology on your african scooters so i'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, back on now where it belongs so that you can continue to see the view so i'm going to kind of leave it right here so you can kind of see what's in front and the dash I want you guys to see everything. All right, so going back to the app, we're at 2.39 miles and everything seems to be going pretty well. Let's keep it going.
right, so I just want to point out, we are going up a hill and uh, that is going to impact the range. So if we weren't going up this hill, you could expect a little bit more life out of this range test or out of these batteries. Not a big hill, but still there's an incline. And with an incline, the motor and the batteries have to work a little harder. All right, so this is pretty much the end of the road here, but I do want to show you all the ramp where I go fishing. So you can kind of see, it's really nice out here. See out here? Hello. How you doing? Good. Just doing a little test on this scooter. Sorry, don't mind. I'm just recording. Yeah, that's all right. You have any luck out there? We're testing the water. Oh, really? We're trying to see how much contaminants it's inside. We work for a seafood restaurant. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So we're testing the water to see how the stone crafts are doing. And... Nice. We're testing out lithium batteries to see how long they last compared yeah. to normal. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Happy holidays. Yeah. All right, so let's get back in the opposite direction where we came from, because up ahead, there are some big bridges and I don't want to impact the results of this range test by going up those bridges.
So it looks like we're doing a little bit over eight miles every hour, just because of the number of stops we're doing. Alright, so we had to reset our battery and we are currently at 8.2 miles. I'm gonna keep going now. So these batteries don't last that long, but hello. We'll be changing them uh couple times it looks like at least once an hour again I don't know that I'm gonna be able to complete this test today but we're gonna try Considering that we're going on uh, inclines and charging the battery, whatever the results of this test are, you can expect them to be a little bit better if you're not going up hills and you're not charging one of your USB powered devices. All right, we're gonna have to find uh, some room for a biker up ahead. I think uh, I'm just gonna come to a complete stop and get over all the way.
Coming up to 12 miles. Just wanted to show you the lineman that we were going under. All right, well, we are back at the parking lot that we uh, jumped into earlier. We're gonna do a few circles here just to get some mileage under our belt. We know we could use the extra mileage. So take this time to do a temperature test. All right, so doing a temperature test, we have about 115. 113, 140, 104. So about the highest that I'm seeing is about 140, 138, 140 on some areas of the motor. Now the controller, 83, 84, nothing going on there that's out of the usual. So Again, hottest point on the motor after running it for over an hour and a half, about 140. Batteries are showing 83, 83, 83. Everything's nice and cool there. Good data. Just wanted to see what it's uh, currently looking like. And let's go ahead and resume with our torture test. Just want to make sure we're on. I'm going to adjust my uh, drink strap a little bit. All right, let's get it going.
hear me? I can hear you. I'm riding on uh, about two and a half hours so far. Any, any battery drop off at all? None. The meter is still you're, full. You're full speed, right? Full speed. I uh, was going for about two hours and then I tested the temperature of the motor, which got to about 140 degrees at the highest. Huh? That's nothing. No? Yeah, that's easy. Easy money. Good. Yeah, I, I didn't know if 140 was hot or not, so... Nah. Yeah, I didn't think so, to be honest. Yeah, no, nah, it's running right where it should be running. Yeah, two hours straight, and I wasn't going on flat pavement. I was going off, like, inclines throughout, uh, basically up and down Bonita Beach Road, right alongside the coast, on the boardwalks. There's a ton of like activity, traffic, water gutters, so it wasn't by any means smooth. And I'm also charging my GoPro batteries from the USB charger because my GoPro only lasts so long before I got to change the battery. So are you documenting that that you're using that? To yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm letting I'm letting the people know. Look, if you're not charging your phone or camera like I am, you can expect to get an extra like five percent probably. You know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. So. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know the progress. I'm planning on just doing this for the rest of the day. So just to give you a little recap of where we're at, we're at 18.6 miles, been doing about two hours, a little over two hours. I'm in the shade right now, it's really nice. 18.6 miles, two hours, 15 minutes. Just thought I would show you where we're at now because I'm getting ready to take a break. I'm gonna need to grab some lunch. I am hungry and I have not had breakfast or lunch so I'm gonna make my way back to the office now and basically uh, get some lunch and start back up after that.
I'm not gonna charge the batteries. I'm gonna basically just leave the batteries running, or I mean, just leave the uh, scooter in the showroom for a moment while I go next door and pick up some food. So, gonna keep going, make our way back to the shop. I'm gonna try and get to 20 miles before getting to the shop. We'll see if we can do it. I'm gonna cruise around this parking lot a few times because it's nice and shady here and uh, my neck is kind of burning a little bit. got Southwest Florida local amateur skateboarder here. We're going to take advantage of our uh, four hour test drive and see if we can have some fun. Hell yeah, that was awesome dude. Nice. Talent everywhere. Amazing. That was super cool, man. I'm gonna head in, I gotta get some lunch, but stay safe, man. You too, man, take care. You got it. Check us out, if you wanna see it, it'll be on Mobility Direct on YouTube. Huh? You see the name? Mobility Direct? Mobility? Mobility? Yeah, Mobility Direct. Yeah. I'll have it on YouTube. All right, You'll cool. be on YouTube. We got a pretty good audience, too. Uh, I'm the Shred Ted. The Shred Head? Ted. The it's Shred the Ted. Ted. Cool, man. Nice to meet you. I'm Sergio. We're right here. We have a store next to the Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Oh, right okay. here. In I don't this... come into this plaza that much, except the skate. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty nice little setup there. Yeah, there's another place right, right down by the Circle K, too, on Bonita Beach, but you can only skate it at night. So. Oh, man, you're I'm, like, brave. home renovations at my house right now, so I just... Did yeah, you're, you're brave, man. I, I stopped when I was, like, 25. I don't do it anymore. I've been doing it for 20 years. Hey, man, you still got it. Thanks, man. Have a good one. That was pretty cool. So local skateboarder, Shred Ted, he said he's been skateboarding for about 20 years and we just got to see him do a nice trick. I used to skateboard, so the trick he just did was an ollie, which is basically just like a hop, like a bunny hop with your skateboard. He did an ollie into a manual, which is like a wheelie. They call it a manual when you do it on a skateboard. And he wheelied that whole upper deck and then dropped down onto the lower level like it was nothing. That was pretty awesome. And uh, I love seeing stuff like that. Primo! Been going for 20 miles. Still? Still going. You want me to take over? You want to? You want to? If you want, but uh, if you want, I go to Publix in a little bit. Yeah, to go for a ride, man. I've been going for two hour, two and a half hours. Yeah. You did? I went all the way to the beach. Wow. Yep, we went all the way to the beach. So we're coming in. Let me see. Let me take her here for a second. I'm gonna show it to our neighbor. She was talking about it. 
So let me just show real quick. We are finishing and taking a break. We have 20.16 miles, two hours and 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause. And we're gonna go ahead and come back in a little bit. I'm gonna eat some lunch. Thanks for watching. I'm here with Eric from Mobility Direct. All right, so I have my cousin Eric here from our sales force. He's gonna take over while I eat lunch. We're gonna go ahead and put the camera in the same position. And we're gonna go ahead and start or resume where it left off. So we left off at 20.17 miles. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little lock button that says resume. All right, so there we go. So now we are resuming, it's locked. And what we wanna do is just put this right there. So you're good to go. Just keep an eye on the mileage and the time. Yep. And I'll tighten this up so it doesn't go anywhere. Try to stick in areas that are shady because it's getting hot and you can't really see the screen in the sun. Got it. All right, Primo, have fun. Be safe. See you soon. I'm coming back. I forgot, since I have one of these phones with the little wallet in the back, my debit card and credit card and ID are back there. All right. All right, good to go, Primo. Later. Have fun. See you.
Did it ever start beeping? No. Nothing started beeping on the camera? Get this out of here real quick. All right, so we've made it about 26 miles, thir three hours and 30 minutes. Uncle Chuck is gonna take over. I've been out in the sun for two and a half straight hours, then Eric went for about an hour. Chuck's up next. This is a team effort. We're gonna go ahead and point the camera down, mount the camera to the armrest. Sorry, Chuck, I know I'm getting awfully close to you here. Uh, you're my boss, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna angle this forward a little bit and you should be good to go. I know it's a little hard to see in the sun, but have fun. Woo! Oh, let me go ahead and resume. Resume. And now lock. Just make sure every 30 minutes that's gonna come off. If you hear the camera beep, that means the battery died. Okay. Try to stop where you are. Call me if you're not close. Okay. You have about an hour and 30 minutes worth of recording time with that battery. Okay. Cool, cool. But if it does stop on you, just stop where you are and call me. I'll bring you a spare battery to keep going. Okay. Talk to you soon. Yep. But be safe. Good luck. Yeah. Yeehaw.
I'm gonna pull over in a spot here where it's nice and shady. So we can show you that we went 30 miles already. Let's see if I can get in the shaded spot up here. So the camera can pick it up. Look at that. 30.2 miles. Almost four hours here we've been running. 30.2. Amazing. This thing is killing it right now. So thanks everybody for watching. I know it's been a long video because we traveled about three, give or take three hours, uh, and we made it about 30.8 miles. So let's just say just shy of 31 miles. A couple of things to keep in mind, which we did mention in the video, you may have fast forwarded through it. Number one, we were charging our camera batteries with the USB charging port here. So that's draining the batteries. Number two, we were not on a flat, surface we were on all kinds of bumpy terrain going over crosswalks with water gutters going up ada access ramps we even went over a few bridges to get over canals we went on the grass we had to go off road on slopes that were very very steep and all of that contributes to the range test results if you were to be just going on flat surface without stopping and going you'd get more mileage without a doubt if you weren't charging something like your cell phone, you'd get more mileage. What we're going to do next is we're going to go and do the same exact route using sealed lead acid batteries, these standard batteries that come with it if you don't upgrade to the lithium. So we can show you the difference in mileage using the same terrain and the same exact trail. Okay. All right, so if you recall, I had my cell phone on this cell phone holder. So did Chuck and Eric when they went for a ride to help out with the test because it was such a long test, we had to break it up and take turns. But it was all done without ever charging the battery on the scooter once. We had the lithium batteries. And here is the app. I'm gonna have you zoom in here a little bit, just get closer in so they can see on the, on the screen what I'm showing here. So the, the track was recorded. And that's what you see on the blue line. We started off at the store. We went all the way up to Bonita Beach along the beach and then came back, did a bunch of circles around a parking lot. So we had the entire trip track. And if you look at the duration, it was four hours, 31 minutes and 16 seconds. We made it 30.86 miles. That's the distance. The average speed was 7.3. Max speed was 11.7, probably when we were going down the hill or down the bridges. So... We're gonna do that same track again. We're gonna take our time because these are not easy tests. It takes several, several hours of riding, several, several hours of editing. So we appreciate your patience. We hope that you're enjoying these tests. Keep in mind that when you purchase an Afikim scooter, if you swap the batteries out on your own, like if you try to get your own lithium batteries and swap it out on your own, it will actually void the warranty. The only way to keep your warranty is to purchase an Afikim scooter with the lithium battery upgrade through mobilitydirect.com. 
We have an exclusive agreement with the manufacturer, Afikim, and they are upgrading the lithium batteries on the Afikim scooters when you order it straight from the factory warehouse. What they're also doing, and this is very important, the battery voltage meter that tells you how much capacity your battery has is going to be optimized for lithium batteries. You may have noticed at the end of our lithium range test that the battery meter was full up until like the last two miles and then it just started draining really quickly. That's because of the way lithium batteries work. The discharge period on a lithium battery is very, very short, whereas on sealed lead acid batteries, the batteries discharge very, very progressively and naturally until they just completely die or get close to nominal minimum voltage. With lithium batteries, the voltage stays high, like 25.5 volts. And then at the last minute of the curve, when it drops, the battery voltage drops in a very short, narrow window. So what we're going to do is have these lithium upgraded Afikim scooters sent out with the battery voltage meter finely tuned to work with lithium batteries. So instead of waiting until the last two miles of your 30 mile trip or 40 mile trip, depending on what kind of terrain you're on, you're not gonna see the voltage just drop suddenly at the end. You're gonna have a nice natural progression of that discharge rate. So you, you'll notice it starting to drop early on instead of at the last minute like you saw in this video. Again, this is all part of our research and development. We're doing this for you to be able to get access to better technology when it comes to your batteries. It's not only gonna help you go longer, you're gonna get more cycles, charge cycles, so your batteries will last longer, regardless of how long you go on each trip. So keep that in mind, folks. Thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, where we're gonna show you again the exact same route with the duration and the distance covered with the standard battery. So you really know what you're going up against if you were to decide uh, on the lithium versus the sealed lead acid, lead acid batteries. I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. We were working together with Chuck and Eric from our store here in Bonita Springs. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.